The West Genesee community is watching closely as the Board of Education considers the district's next superintendent. Now the person chosen will have to clean up the mess from two big scandals this year, and the names of the three final candidates are just out tonight. They are David Bills, current superintendent at Honeyoy Schools near Rochester, Linda Gowie, current superintendent at Hudson Falls near Albany, and Brian Kessel, the current assistant superintendent at West Genesee. New Channel Line's Andrew Donovan covered the controversies at West Genesee this year. Andrew, what happens now? Well, Rod, as is normal, the ultimate choice is up to the Board of Education, but this board is in a unique position. Two of its nine members were overwhelmingly defeated in this month's election just a few weeks ago, and their terms are set to end just days after they're part of this decision. Whether they go with the administrator from within the district or someone from outside, the community is asking for change after this rocky year. As a board, we are not going to comment until the investigation is complete. And as a side note, Dr. Brown is going to take some personal time for himself. She led the district through the downfall of Chris Brown. Now in her final days as board president, Roberta Heron will oversee the process to replace him with his assistant or an outside superintendent. The hiring timeline indicates the current Board of Education will appoint the next superintendent on June 19th, only 11 days before Heron's term and the term of another incumbent, Eric Bacon, come to an end. She finished fifth out of five in the election just two weeks ago. He was fourth for three open seats. A loud and clear signal from the community of voters that they want new leadership. After the resignation of Chris Brown, whose wife accused him of leaving her for the high school principal. The district never released the results of an investigation, but fired the principal involved. A month later, a second high-profile controversy. A school bus driver was forced to retire, taking the blame for allowing a 21-year-old man to board his bus full of middle schoolers. It was more weird than scary, and I was mainly shocked the whole time of seeing this man just roam around and be crazy. The driver's co-workers defended him, claiming he was given the go-ahead by a supervisor. If he, we don't do what we're told, we understand we can lose our job. But in this case, the individual did as he was told. Both scandals led to a series of packed board meetings. Many constituents critical of the board members. Now two of them are on the way out after one last decision. I've been in touch with the two brand new board members about if the current board should pass the decision on to the incoming board. Aaron Ryder declined comment until he takes his seat. Elizabeth Donaldson was already sworn in because of an immediate vacancy, but she referred me back to the outgoing board president. I emailed that president, Roberta Heron, around 4.30 this afternoon and haven't heard back. Rod. Andrew, thank you. And the community has the chance now to meet the three finalists this coming Tuesday night from 6 to 7.30 at the auditorium of West Genesee High School.